Hey guys, what's up? It's Danielle. So for today's video, it's about two in the morning. <laughs> I have been sleeping quite a bit because I'm actually on vacation right now. So yeah, but anyways, I just wanted to come on here and just kind of share some things with you guys and just so you can kind of see what I've been up to. So I've actually been baking up a storm and this is something that I always look forward to every single year around this time. I love to bake, like it's probably one of my favorite things. And the unfortunate part is that my brother doesn't live near me so I don't really have an excuse to bake a lot of the time. So that's why I really look forward to the holidays because you know, I have like people to bake for and then obviously like everyone at work, like I totally love to bake for them. I don't do it all the time, but when I do, they're always pretty grateful. So anyways, we had not one, but two potlucks at work this past week. And all I can say is, oh my God, it's enough food to make you have a heart attack. So we had like all different kinds of stuff on um, Wednesday and I actually made some chocolate chip muffins for that. So that was a lot of fun. Got to see a lot of the coworkers that I don't normally get to see anymore because we all work different shifts and you know, it's just, it's nice to come together with your work fam and share some good food. So I really liked that. And then on Saturday, because a lot of us, you know, we, we literally did this spur of the moment. Um, this girl that used to work for me actually took a collection of money and she ordered a bunch of Puerto Rican food and like, you know, a little bit of American food thrown in there too, like lasagna and uh, I know lasagna isn't technically American, but you know what I mean. It's just more American stuff. And it was so good. We had, um, I don't know what their version of rice and beans is called, but it was basically that. And then we had pastelillos, which if you don't know what those are, it's kind of like an empanada. So those are really, really good. I'm actually looking into making those in the future. So, if you guys are Puerto Rican, you probably you probably know the beautiful goodness that's coming with that. But it was just so nice to hang out with my work family and yeah, I just it's the little things in life. So, in addition to that, I made a pumpkin pie literally from scratch, not completely from scratch. Because if I did it completely from scratch, I would have, like, cut up the pumpkin and, like, boiled, you know what I mean? Like, mashed it, and I didn't do that. I'm planning on doing that at some point, but not anytime soon. So I did make the pie crust, like, by hand, and I totally get why people don't really do that anymore, because it's a pain. So I need to try to perfect my pie making skills I mean it turned out pretty well aside from that but you know I think I'll just I gotta I gotta practice a little bit more so I am actually going to my best friend's house tomorrow and if you're wondering tomorrow is Thanksgiving so this is gonna be the second year that I will be spending with her family and I'm just so grateful that they allow me to celebrate it with them because I don't have anybody else, like, from my family that's up here in PA. Like, my family is, like, all over the place, but pretty much they're all, like, further west. So, my mom is obviously still down in Houston and then my dad and my brother in Minnesota. I have a great aunt in Colorado, aunt and uncle in Colorado. I also have 
an aunt and uncle. They're technically my cousins, but I call them my aunt and uncle because we're closer than that. In Nevada, like, you know, the um, Las Vegas area. And then, like, I just, I got people all over. Just all over the place. So, and then a majority of my family is still in, like, Wisconsin and Minnesota. So, you know, it's kind of hard to go somewhere for Thanksgiving. And I generally reserve my time off for Christmas because to me Christmas is the best holiday out of the entire year it's always what I look forward to so that's generally when I go home and I'm excited because I get to see my mama I get to see my brother again and I get to see my baby cats so it's gonna be really dope but anyways I've been making bread and I never thought I would say that. I do not have a bread machine or anything like that. I've never used one either. And I don't see myself ever investing in one. But the bread that I'm making, or I should say that I made, is a no-need bread. So literally, like the title says, you don't have to knead it at all. And you're supposed to let it, you know rise for 12 to 18 hours. I waited more than 18 hours for this last one. I did make a, you know, I did a trial run with the first one and I don't think I got the temperature of the water right the first time because they say you have to do room temperature. Well, to me, room temperature is like 70 degrees, but it's kind of hard to gauge that, you know, by hand. So I messed it up the first time and the second time I think it turned out a little bit better. So you're not really going to be able to see it but the texture on top is like nice and crispy and then the bottom is like nice and soft and fluffy but this is what it looks like and pretty much what you do is you bake it in a Dutch oven. So I do have a Dutch oven by Lodge. I'm not going to show that to you guys right now, but you know, that stuff works really well, really, really well. So I have been on the hunt for, you know how they have like chicken bouillon cubes and beef bouillon cubes I've never seen pork bouillon cubes and I always wondered if that was a thing and I had never seen it before. So I went to a, like a Latin grocery store that we have around here. Like literally it's where all the Puerto Ricans and Dominicans go because there's a huge population of them where I live and I was actually looking for dulce de coco, which is like their Dominican coconut cookies. And when I was in there, I found this. So this is basically pork bouillon cubes. And I'm just, I'm so happy that I found this. I really shouldn't have bought it because I don't know how I'm going to end up using this much pork bouillon, but... I guess I can freeze it or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But the way that that came about was I was asking my mom if there was such a thing as pork bouillon cubes. And she was like, I don't know. I've never seen it. So, because I was making sundo buchige, which it's a really good kind of like tofu soup slash stew that is like one of my favorite Korean foods. So basically it's onion, um, scallions, and then also tofu, of course. And then you, you put like a little bit of water and some soy sauce in there. And then you put pork on the bottom to give it some flavor. I don't like pork, so I always try to figure out something else to get the flavor. But 
I'm very, very excited that I found that. So anyways, I am in the process of getting ready for Christmas as well. And I already have my Christmas lights up, which I did share with you guys. But I've been pulling out some of my other Christmas stuff. So let me show you guys really quickly. So these were actually made by my mom back in like the 80s. I know, right? They're old. Um, <laughs> but these were made by my mom back in the 80s. And I have never gone one Christmas without them. So they are very near and dear to my heart because, you know, never ever experienced a Christmas without them. And I don't ever intend to, you know, be without it. So I also have like some Christmas hand towels, like for the bathroom and for the kitchen. So there's this one. This is like the only time that I allow red in my apartment. There's that one. And then there's this one, which I like, which is Bah Humbug. And then the ones for my kitchen are these two. Or they're both the same, but really pretty little reindeer. So anyways, very exciting. I have yet to pull out my Christmas dishes, which are also handed down from my mama. They're Wachtersbach which she also brought from Germany. So anyways, I have just been enjoying myself and yeah, pretty much I'm just living life, you know? I'm also trying to recover from, I think I had the flu. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, I got my flu shot like a week ago and I must have been given a different strain than what my body was used to because literally a week later I was sick and it was so sweet because two of the girls that work for me, they're a little bit older than I am and they both are moms. So I am only 25 and I don't have kids yet. So it was so cute. They were giving me cough drops and cough medicine and tea. And they're just trying to make sure that I basically didn't die or like pass out. Because there was, there was a couple times when I thought I would. So I was very, very thankful that they were taking care of me while I was at work. But I don't know. I just, I'm so grateful that I work with the people that I do because honestly they're really good so I also got a calendar for 2019 and it's just National Geographic America so it's just like some of the national parks and some of the gorgeous scenery my personal favorite is the Badlands in South Dakota which I got to go back there but been what maybe 13 years since I've seen it so I definitely gotta make that pilgrimage again before much more time passes so anyways I just wanted to share some of that with you guys and just so you can kind of see what I'm up to I'm not gonna have like a legitimate video I guess up this week Maybe by the time we hit like Saturday or Sunday, I will. And then I'm, I'm planning on having another one up before I go back to work next Thursday. So just so y'all are in the loop. But anyways, I hope you all have a beautiful Thanksgiving. I hope you have good quality time with your kids, your grandkids, your friends, your parents, siblings, everybody. And yeah, I look forward to Christmas time. <laughs> I'll be going home to Houston, like I said before. So that being said, I probably will not be doing a whole lot of filming while I'm there because I want to make sure that I get in as much quality time 
with my mama and my kitties and my brother as possible. So, yeah. But, anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you kind of enjoyed this. You know, I'm trying to do more vloggy type stuff because I think it's fun. But, I love you all and I will talk to you on my next video. Bye, guys.